What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and I couldn't wait to put this video together. You guys see the title, you see the thumbnail, but before we get into the highlights of this video, greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. We're nearing in on 160,000 subscribers. So you guys being subscribed, hitting the like button, all that's greatly appreciated and it's going to help push us over that milestone. Now, the highlight of this video is the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. Now, I got more information on that later on in the video. As well, we have a first look at the Amma Meniere Air Jordan 5 in black. We got more news from Jordan brand in this video, as well, some drops from Nike, a couple things from Adidas, and a couple things from Reebok. And now, without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Disney is celebrating their 100th anniversary this year and to celebrate, once again they're going to connect with Adidas and this time around the two will release the Samba with one pair representing Mickey Mouse and the other pair for Minnie Mouse. The two pairs will feature animal free ingredients allowing for a vegan sneaker option. Highlighted with white leather across the upper, metallic gold lands on the Samba branding across the lateral side. On Mickey's pair, we have himself placed on the tongue, while Minnie's pair will come with a red tongue label. Both shoes feature the character's hands forming a heart when the right and left shoe are side by side, and other details include co-branding on the insoles and a white rubber sole. So if you're interested in one or both, they drop on April 27th, and the retail price will be $100 each. It looks like Pusha T is launching a new Thorn collection with Adidas. He recently unveiled the Adidas Supernova Cushion 7 Thorn at Coachella 2023. The model is inspired by early 2000 runners and it comes with blue mesh on the base and off-white overlays. Black hits the liner while constructed with Addy Prime cushioning, a Formotion underheel, and the torsion system in the midfoot. Highlighting the shoes, we have a Thorn logo on the heels and a black rubber outsole. At the time of recording, we don't have a release date for the shoe, but they are expected to launch later this year. The Reebok Question Low Oatmeal originally launched back in 1999. We saw a retro release take place in 2020, and if for some reason you missed out on the release or you need another pair, they're going to restock, or I should say re-release once again. So if you wanna grab this pair, they'll debut on May 1st and the retail price is 120. You'll be able to grab them on Reebok.com. Puerto Rican rapper, Anuel A, I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I mispronounced it, I do apologize. Well, he's connecting with Reebok to release a couple collaborations. One of those is the Question Mid. Now he'll also release a classic leather, but from the collection, I believe that the Question Mid is honestly the standout shoe. This pair is inspired by the Caribbean Sky, and it comes dressed in a footwear white, core black, and digital blue color combination. Constructed with leather, we have a split toe with one half using leather and the other half using suede. Also, we have jersey mesh on the tongues and his branding throughout. The shoes also feature the traditional hexalite cushioning and a molded EVA midsole. Other details includes a white midsole and an icy translucent rubber outsole. So for those that want to grab this pair, they drop April 25th and the retail price will be 170. After releasing at In Clothing back in March, the off-white Nike Air Force One Mid Pine Green finally has a release date which will take place this month. So if you're looking to grab this pair, they will debut on April 28th and the retail price will be 205. You'll be able to grab them on the sneakers app. Each video, I highlight multiple Nike Air Max One releases. There's a lot coming this year, almost trending on the side of the dunk. We got a ton of dunks, not to that extent though, but it's getting close. Not only do we have the Air Max 1, we also have a different variation known as the Air Max 186, which features a slightly larger air unit. But back to the 87 pair, one of the upcoming colorways is simply known as bronze, and that is due to the colorway, which is light or wood brown, bronze, white, and black. 
This pair comes constructed with suede, mesh, and leather, while white runs across most of the base, and then we have gray suede on the overlays. Highlighting the shoes is bronze leather on the swoosh logos and mudguards. Other details includes white on the midsole and mostly black on the rubber outsole. At the time of recording, this pair is scheduled to release on July 7th, and the retail price will be $150. One of Nike Sportswear's latest collections is known as Athletic Department. I believe there's been several dunks part of that collection, but now being added to it is the Air Max 1. So we have a first look at that pair, and it features a white, black forest, neutral gray, and varsity maze color combination. This pair comes constructed with leather, suede, mesh, and nubuck. White runs across most of the base. We have gray suede on the overlays black nubuck across the mudguard, and leather swoosh logos. We also have black nylon on the collars, varsity maze fills in the top eyelets, tongue branding insoles, and a little bit on the outsole. Other details includes Nike Air embroidered on the heels, the athletic department branding on the insoles, an aged midsole, and a mostly black rubber outsole. For this pair, unfortunately, we don't have a release date. Should be dropping maybe in the next couple of months. Could be a little bit longer than that. And the retail price will be $150. Back in 2015, Nike Sportswear celebrated the 25th anniversary of the Nike Air Max 95. The outcome of that was a special greedy pair. It was somewhat like a what the theme. And on that particular shoe, it featured four popular colors of the model. Five years later in 2020, the brand did a follow-up, and then in 2021, they dropped another pair. Now, in 2023, they're adding a fourth colorway to the collection. For this pair, it features shades from the original neon pair and is a tribute to the dark beetroot and slate blue colorways. Utilizing the signature gradient effect on the base in gray, we have black mesh on the upper, and the same shade covers the tongues. Neon fills in the mini embroidered swoosh logos on the lateral ankle, while blue and burgundy land on the eyelets. All three shades are used on the tongue branding, and then we have 3M reflective details throughout. The insoles also feature Nike's pinwheel logo, which more than likely means that the shoe will feature some recycled materials. Other details include a white midsole and a black rubber outsole. Unfortunately, again, we don't have a release date for this pair. This should be dropping later this year, and the retail price will be $185. I've always been a fan of the Greedy series. This pair, to me, I like it a lot. It's not as good as the first one or the other two, but I do like them. Back in February, we saw the Nike SB Dunk Low, known as Grey Gum or Wolf Grey, debut. Now, if you missed out on that, there will be another chance for you to purchase. It seems like this pair is kind of popular. I actually think it's really nice. It's simple. It's clean. So when they do drop again, I am going to try to go after a pair. And the latest release date for this pair is May 2nd. The retail price will be 110 Also, they are restocking on the sneakers app. Florida A&M University Athletics, also known as FAMU, connected with Nike Basketball to sign a six-year partnership in 2021. In late 2022, we saw the LeBron 7 release in green and black launch at retailers. The green pair appeared to be pretty limited. This time around, the university will connect with APB to release two colorways of the LeBron 20. One pair comes dressed in peach cream, safety orange, stadium green, coconut milk, and black, while the second is dressed in coconut milk, electric algae, vivid orange, sesame, mica green and phantom the shoes feature reptile texture on the upper and a snakeskin texture and tumble leather on the double stack swooshes we have all points bulletin debossed on the right tongues green exposed stitching fam use snake and apb logos on the insoles and a and m hill patches other details includes a two-tone midsole and a monochromatic rubber outsole both of these pairs are expected to release. In fact, the release date is scheduled for May 9th. That could change, but that is what it is for now. And the retail price is 200 each. Official images just popped up of the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Mambasita. Some people are calling them GG. Whatever you call them, it's totally fine. And just to go over the shoes, because it's been a minute since I spoke about them, they feature a white, black, metallic gold, and bright emerald color combination. 
Utilizing white leather on the base, along with black accents, the shoes come with a plaid print on the heel counter and GG embroidery with her jersey number two on the heels. Other details include Kobe's logo in gold on the tongues and a mostly black rubber outsole. So at the time of recording, the pair is expected to release on May 1st, although that hasn't been confirmed yet. And the reason many are expecting this release date is because May 1st is Gigi's birthday. I do believe when they dropped the Kobe 6 Mambasita, it was also on May 1st. If I forgot to mention, the retail price will be 180. I think I gave away too many hints in the last video, but when I leaked the information about the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Galaxy returning in 2024, I mentioned that there was another pair part of the Galaxy collection that would also be returning. Right there, I said too much. I also responded to some comments that may have led people to believe that it was the KD4, and unfortunately, that news leaked before I got to actually publish it and leak it myself. But that wasn't the only news that I had to leak because obviously we're doing this video. You guys see the thumbnail so you already know what's going on. But it is true. The Nike KD4 Galaxy aka All-Star is set to return in 2024. So the shoes originally released back in 2012 for the NBA All-Star game in Orlando. The theme at the time was Galaxy. And in that lineup, it also included the Zoom Kobe 7, the LeBron 9, the Air Foam Posit 1, three dunk highs, and the flight one. So the pair is expected to look just like it did in 2012. It'll feature a metallic silver, total orange, and dark gray color combination. Utilizing metallic silver synthetic leather across the upper and total orange on the swoosh underneath the mesh and other small accents throughout, which is inspired by spacesuits astronauts wear. The shoes also come with a black midsole with galaxy print throughout a NASA inspired mission patch on the tongues and KD embroidered on the hills in dark gray. Finishing the look is a glow in the dark outsole, although I assume that the glow in the dark outsole is going to return. I can't confirm that at this point just yet. So the expected release time frame is spring 2024. There is a possibility that they could drop during All Star Weekend alongside the foam posit, but again, that hasn't been confirmed. As soon as I have more information, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Gua Alun, I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I did mispronounce it, I do apologize. He is the first Chinese basketball player to sign with Jordan Brand, and throughout the years, we've seen some pairs released for him. For summer 2023, he'll have his own Air Jordan 37 Low. Now, this pair somewhat resembles that of the Hair Air Jordan 7, the colors that is, and currently it isn't confirmed the inspiration behind the shoes, but more than likely it is connected to China. And going over the pair, it features Alun's G logo on the left shoe, which replaces the Jumpman logo. A triple zero shot clock is placed on the heel tabs. We also have a carbon fiber plate in the midfoot, and it comes with Formula 2-3 foam in the heel. Finishing the look is white, black, yellow, and infrared on the rubber outsole. Currently, we don't have a release date for the pair. They are expected to debut this summer. It could be sooner than that. And unfortunately, we don't have a retail price as of yet. The Jordan Pro Strong was originally released back in 1998 and worn by Vin Baker. Celebrating the model's 25th anniversary, Jordan Brand will bring back several colorways. One of those comes highlighted in tour yellow. The shoes feature a white, black, and tour yellow color combination. The theme has been used on the Thunder and Lightning pairs. And to go over the shoes, they come constructed with tumble leather and mesh. White runs across most of the upper, tongues, outsole, and Jumpman on the hills. Black lands on the mudguard and other small details throughout. And then we have yellow on the piping, Jumpman on the insole, heel tabs, and the pods on the outsole. Now, I've noticed that there are several retailers that have already released them. However, they're not available just yet on Nike.com. Well, at least the last time I checked, they weren't. So you can expect a release to come very soon. The retail price will be 145. Maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen a ton of images pop up of the Air Jordan 2 Cool Gray. Either way, official images just landed and a release is just around the corner. Now, for those that don't know, this will be available exclusively in women's sizing and the pair features a cool gray, ice blue, and white color combination. 
highlighted with cool gray throughout, while constructed with new buck and suede. Ice blue lands on the laces, piping, and on the hill. Other details includes a white midsole with gray and blue on the rubber outsole. Now, if you're interested in picking the shoe up, they will release on May 4th, and the retail price will be 175. Honestly, they're dope. I don't think you'll have any trouble if you really want to buy them. But yeah, this is a nice spring shoe, at least in my opinion. Union LA dropped two colorways of the AJK01 low back in January. And recently we received a first look at the bread and shadow colorways. Now we have a first look at a new pair. This is known as the Air Jordan 1 KO low dark royal blue. So this pair features a simple white, dark royal blue, and cell color combination. This pair has Kentucky vibes, while constructed with canvas throughout, done in white and royal blue. Next, we have Royal New Buck on the swoosh logos and hill overlays, and the Nike branding lands on the tongue labels and insoles. The Wings logo is embroidered in white on the hills, and then we have the same shade on the tongues. Probably my favorite touch on the shoe is the size placed on the liner, they also come with an aged midsole and a royal blue rubber outsole. So if you're looking to purchase this pair, they will drop on May 1st. At least that's when they're expected to release as possible. It could get delayed. And the retail price will be $120. It looks like Trophy Room is releasing another Air Jordan 1. This time it's the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Now unfortunately we don't have any images so you're just going to see a silhouette. And the last time that Trophy Room dropped an Air Jordan 1, it was known as the Air Jordan 1 High OG Freeze Out. That shoe dropped in 2021. There was a lot of controversy around that release, the way it was handled, and just overall, it just was a bad experience, at least for me. Now, I know the Air Jordan 1 Low OG isn't as popular as the High, but hopefully they handle the situation better. Now, the details that we have, although slim, we got a little bit, they will feature a black cell and metallic gold color combination. As far as the inspiration or anything along those lines, we don't know anything as of yet. More than likely, the shoes will connect to Marcus Jordan's dad, who's Michael Jordan, in some way, shape, or form, aside from it just being his shoe. But the expected time frame for this pair to release is holiday 2023, and the retail price will be $140. i am really curious to see how this shoe is going to look. I know a lot of people dislike Marcus Jordan for simply the Trophy Room 1s that dropped back in 2021. And in my opinion, aside from all the other stuff, I think he drops really good collabs. For example, we saw the Trophy Room Air Jordan 7 New Sheriff in town drop in 2022. I really like that pair. As well, there's been multiples in the past that... I haven't been able to get my hands on, but those have been really nice as well. I think shortly after I finished my last video, a first look at the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy leaked. And whoever is the person who leaked it, well, I do know the person, not personally, but his IG handle, which is Knowing Kicks. The dude couldn't even wait long enough to lace them up. I understand that there is like this elastic strap that connects to the tongue where technically you don't need to lace them up. But he probably should have just for the simple fact that it's a first look and he knows what he was providing. As most of you know, the shoes originally released back in 2006. It was part of the LS series, also known as Lifestyle. Along with the shoes, they would release matching apparel. And the shoes that were part of that series was somewhat on the limited side. Not super limited or anything, but I don't believe they were available just anywhere. But from what I can see, it looks like these are on point with the original release. Again, this is just one set of images from one pair. So maybe as we get more photos, we'll start to notice some differences. To me, it also looks like he used a filter. I think this guy who takes these pictures uses filters often. I believe that the silver used on the midsole should be a bit brighter. But again, that could just be for the fact he's using filters. I don't know. But I know a lot of people have been wanting this pair to return, so it's finally going to happen. And currently, they're scheduled for September 9th, and the retail price will be 210 We got a first look at the Amma Meniere Air Jordan 5 in black, thanks to James Whitner, the owner and founder of Amma Meniere. These photos were taking place at the free game event at Harvard Business School. Now, the pair does look close to the mock-up that was going around. 
The biggest change that I could see is the Amma Manure branding on the tongue. It's hard to tell if it's reflective. I believe it is, but I'm not 100% positive. Also, it looks like there's some vintage detailing. We can see that on the mesh panels, the lace locks, and a little bit on the outsole. Now, I'm not sure if it's just the way the photo's taken, but it somewhat looks like Michael Jordan's Air Jordan 5 PE, the shape that is. The tongue on these look a little bit shorter. On MJ's PE, the tongue was also shorter than the retail release. Personally, I really like the look. I would love to see a closer look, of course, and I'm sure we'll get that soon. Also, when it comes to the black metallic fives, which these somewhat remind me of, I do like it when people put white laces in. It just looks nice. Also, the pair comes mostly dressed in black, and it will have burgundy crush accents. Also, there is a second colorway releasing, which will feature light bone, black, burgundy crush, and pell ivory. Now, for the release details, the two are expected to debut this holiday season. Unfortunately, we don't have a month, and the retail price will be $225 each. In my opinion, these are really nice. Let me know your thoughts down below. I had to save the best for last, and years and years after... IG pages and self-proclaimed sneaker sources have said that the military blue Air Jordan 4 will return. I finally have information on that. This is the reason why I'm recording this at 3 a.m. in the morning. Unfortunately, I had a lot of stuff to do today and I was going to wait to drop it on Friday. And I said, you know what? This information is too good to hold on to. Now, this isn't the other Air Jordan I was speaking about in two videos ago. I said something along the lines of if you leave a comment, guess. I'll give you a shout out in the upcoming video. That's an entirely different shoe, but because I got this info, I felt I needed to put that one on the back burner, but that will be in Monday's video unless my sources tell me something bigger than that shoe. So I apologize for that, but getting back to this pair, the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue will return summer 2024, finally. Next year, Jordan brand will celebrate the 35th anniversary of the model. I also talked about the bread reimagined Air Jordan 4 that Z Sneakerhead Z and I broke a couple months back. That will feature leather uppers. The images you're looking at is not the 2024 release. It's going to be a mixture of mock-ups and the OG pair. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering right off the bat if the Military Blues will be part of the reimagined series. And I can confirm to you guys that it won't be. So expect the release along the lines of the Fire Red Air Jordan 4. No vintage detailing, no swapping of materials, nothing like that. And just to run down a little bit of history, the shoes originally dropped in 1989. Aside from the golf pair, we've seen this colorway debut a total of three times, including the OG drop. We also saw the shoe for the first time retro in 2006. And then the second time in 2012. Both the 2006 and 2012 pairs came with a Jumpman on the hill. And I'm sure you guys already guessed it. The 2024 pair will have Nike Air. I'm super excited. This is my all-time favorite four. I plan on getting at least two pairs. One to throw in my collection and one to wear immediately. I had the 2012 pair and I wore them a lot. So much that they eventually came my beater. So I wore them to the ground. So yeah, this is a definite double up for me now like i mentioned summer 2024 is when they're expected to release i don't have a time frame but that means it could be anywhere from april to june and the retail price is expected to be 210 let me know your thoughts on this pair returning down in the comment section below i know this news is huge and aside from the air jordan 12 cherry a lot of people have been asking for this shoe to return also, I don't have confirmation on this, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that this will be a general release. So a lot of pairs probably will be coming, although that's not confirmed. But just looking at the history of OG colorways releasing in the past several years, that's how it's been. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you got a second and haven't done so already, appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. As well, turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Speaking of new videos, I got another one coming Monday. I plan on leaking some stuff in that video as well. Next week will probably be a double upload. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do the May release dates for Jordan Brain and Nike. So like always, be on the lookout for that. Now, if you have any questions, comments, 
or if you want to say what you liked or disliked in this video, leave that down below. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I know we're a day out, but this will be the last video of the week. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.